What if I told you that even the deepest layers of physics whisper that consciousness might not just be inside of us, but woven into the very fabric of reality itself? Let's start with quantum mechanics, the strangest, most successful theory in all of science. At the quantum level, particles do not exist in definite states. They exist in probabilities, like ghosts of possibility spread across space and time. But here's the twist. When we observe them, they collapse into one reality. Before observation, an electron could be here, there, or anywhere. After observation, it chooses. Physicist John Wheeler once suggested that the universe might be participatory, meaning it doesn't fully exist until consciousness interacts with it. Think about that. Without awareness, there may be no reality at all. Imagine tossing a coin into the air. Instead of flipping heads or tails, it hovers indefinitely, existing as both. That's the quantum world. But the moment you look at it, it lands, heads or tails. Now imagine the coin is reality itself. Consciousness may be the act of looking that brings the universe into being. If Wheeler is right, then the universe isn't a machine running on its own. It's more like a mirror, reality unfolding as consciousness observes it. In this sense, every act of perception is the cosmos waking up to itself. It's not just that we live in the universe. The universe lives through us. We are its eyes, its ears, its awareness. But it goes further. Some research suggests that consciousness may not even be bound by time or space. Experiments in parapsychology, while controversial, hint at telepathy, precognition, and remote viewing. One of the most fascinating projects is the Global Consciousness Project. Random number generators were placed around the world producing pure chance data. But during moments of global emotion, 9-11, natural disasters, even mass meditations, the data shifted, as if human consciousness collectively bent the probabilities. Skeptics dismiss it, but if true, it means consciousness may not be locked inside our skulls. It may be a field, like gravity or magnetism, flowing through everything, connecting us all. Some thinkers go further and suggest that humanity is forming a global brain with billions of people interconnected through technology, ideas, and emotion, our collective consciousness may be organizing into something larger. Think about ants. Individually, they're simple, but together, they form colonies that act with surprising intelligence. What if humans are like neurons in a planetary brain? Each of us a node of awareness, collectively dreaming reality into being. 